Hi everyone, it's Julia. Today I am back with another fabric medium test. I had done a test a couple weeks ago using the um, fabric medium by Golden. This is the GAC 900. In that test, I, I did both of them with the fabric medium and one I washed and one I didn't wash, wash and just we compared the two. I had a couple people just wondering how how it would be or how what the test would be if I did one test with the fabric medium, one test with the water, and then wash both of them, um, and then see and then compare. Also, this needs to be heat set, so I will after the paint dries. I am going to be heat setting both of the samples and then washing um, and we'll see what happens there's five different th things that I'm going to be testing and I also tested these five on the last video I'm going to be I'm going to be working on it with a craft acrylic craft paint one of them is going to be the intense blocks which is basically what it says it's a block of ink um, once these are um, activated with water Supposedly, once they're dry, they they are to be are more permanent. So we're we're going to see what the difference is between the water and the go, the golden. The next one is the Neo Color Two, and this is a waxed a wax pastel, which is water soluble. I have a Gelato's that I'm going to be testing another water soluble product, and then we're going to try the Distress Oxide, and I'm going to again be mixing one with just water and one with the fabric fabric medium. So the first step is going to be going through and just painting these. The top line is going to be the fabric medium. The bottom line is going to be the uh, the water. For the acrylic, I am going to be putting a little bit on my, on a lid, and the water one I'm going to be putting a little, adding just a little bit of water just to make it more movable. And then the the top line is going to be with the fabric medium, and then on on, on down the line. I'm going to be just fast forwarding through this process because it's just going to be me painting on this piece of fabric. Oh, and a little bit about a fabric. I do have this, this top one is a muslin and I, and I do have like a, a, a quilting batting on, on the bottom here and I've free motion just little squares on here. When I do a lot of my designs I am working within a, a free motion square or piece. So this is similar to what my designs I just wanted to mimic that as best I could. So let's get started. The paint is dried now and I'll be going on to my heat setting, but I wanted to mention first the, the water 
the, the paint really moved or really spread out and wicked into the fibers on the waterline and did not on, on the fabric medium. I probably maybe put too much water on to begin with, but I will say that the, this, the fabric medium is a little bit thicker than water or heavier and it's also sticky a little bit, a little bit sticky. And I'm, think, I'm thinking that too is a com combination of it. It just doesn't bleed out as much as the water does. A little bit about the heat setting. It does mention that you need to iron for three to five minutes on medium heat for the fabric medium. And I'm going to be doing both the water line and the fabric medium line and I'm going to, trying to do the three to five minutes equally on, on both of them. So we can see whether heat setting is going to make a difference, whether it's going to completely disappear in the wash or if it's going to, you know, one's going to be different than the other. A little bit about how it feels. The Distress Oxides, the Gelatos are very soft, both of them. The Neo colors are a little bit harder, especially the one with the fabric medium on it. And the Ink Tense, again, the same thing, especially the one with the fabric medium. It just feels a little bit, a little bit crunchier. And both of the, the acrylics are, are, both of them are very crunchy. And you can just tell acrylic is a form of plastic and it just, if that's what it feels like, it feels like plastic. And so we'll see if maybe the heat setting in itself is going to loosen that up a little bit, but we're also going to see if that helps, the washing helps that. I got the ironing done or the heat setting done and I, I cut this middle part out and this is what I am going to be washing. I'll leave these here so we can kind of do some comparison once this is out of the wash. I'm going to throw this in with a load of towels and then also just on a regular wash cycle and then I'm also going to dry it in the dryer with the towels. So we'll be back and we'll just do some comparison after that. Hi everyone, I'm back and I my piece has been washed and has been dried and I found this to be very interesting. Are you ready? I am surprised that there's very little change even in the water one. Now I did heat set both of these and that may have be, been enough to set that ink or, and the paint into the fibers, but really there's not a whole lot of difference. The biggest one is the dis Distress Oxide which is, to, is doesn't surprise me that is very reactive with water. The, um, it lightened the most with the water one compared to the one that was not washed. But it, it lightened a little bit with the, with the fabric medium also, not as much. I think the biggest change or the biggest reasons why I would still use a fabric medium is the bleeding and the, the wicking into the, the fibers. The water went all over. As you can see, it really, it just really spread. Whereas the fabric medium stayed contained to the, to the area. It, it went out a little bit, but I think it was my sloppiness more than the, more than the fact that it, it that it, that it went and spread. So I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Um, the, a little bit too on the, the feel of it. The acrylic still feels the same. It still feel, has that, plasticky coating type feel to it. The other ones are, are pretty pretty good. They feel like more like fabric, uh, especially down on this side of it. So that's that's it for my testing. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Bye.